Hi, my name is Marcus Anthony, co-founder of The Pinnaclist and president of Soulspire. Today it's an honor to have this unique privilege in visiting one of the most premier private island residences in the world, right here in Bora Bora of the French Polynesia. Hi, I'm Bob Hurwitz. Welcome to Motutani. I proudly represent this property for sale on behalf of Francois Nars, who purchased it 20 years ago and created one of the most unique island paradises possible. Let's take a tour. Wow, so this is the great room? Yeah, this is the great room, and it is just astounding. It's this whole concept of what was created here was emblematic of the ancient Tahitian lifestyle, where there's a central area for you know groups, for meetings, everybody gathers, yeah. and then they build an enclave of bungalows and suites surrounding it.
definitely get that throwback feeling of the old Polynesian lifestyle where you got this communal area. It's reminiscent of the old tribal days, if you will. Absolutely. It, it feels tribal. Yeah. You wouldn't know whether you're in the 20th century or the 18th century. It's built completely luxuriously, but with natural woods. The thought that went into it is, it really manifests the vision of Francois and the people that he hired. There's no walls, it's all floor to ceiling open, and you get a breeze from length to width. There's no reason for air conditioning or anything like that. There's always this incredible breeze, and it's, it's so comfortable. It's such a great place to hang out. All of the furniture even was designed by the famed Parisian interior designer and architect, uh, Christian Liegre, and um, it just fits seamlessly. It does, yeah. It, it feels like it, it belongs in this environment. Yes. He wanted the colors muted in all of the structures because there's so much color outside. Notice that every piece of furniture is a little bit different. There's so many different comfortable areas exactly. to relax, to read, to interact. And you have these high ceilings all made with natural woods. It's really just an unbelievably comfortable place to relax and with the ultimate indoor outdoor living. Oh, this is the ultimate. It has a resort feel, but like better than a resort, it's your own private oasis. Exactly. I have been in the most beautiful resorts around the world, and I have never seen anything that's even close to this in terms of a privately, individually owned island for one owner. This is not a resort, but it could be. Very much could be refitted to be a resort. Easily.
You could add more structures if you wanted, but it was built because Francois was in love with this area and wanted to create his own vision of how he could build the best of something like this that would, you know, be part of nature as well. See, at the end, it's more of a quiet, private area. Yeah. Quiet quarters for maybe reading a book and just kind of enjoying the views. Exactly, right. You have this one well-named great room, which is one large structure of approximately 2,500 square feet, but it's divided into different areas. So, as you said, this is basically a private area divided by this screen, which is beautifully realized. It has an amazing lava fire pit. It's a great touch for the evening. That's beautiful. With the torches or a, lit. Or a glass of wine. Oh, yes. It's the best French wine, which at night is just beautiful.
what I can see is anywhere from within the inner grounds of this island, you get amazing 360 views all around. I mean, absolutely. Just turquoise waters. It's really sensational. I haven't seen anything like it. Yeah, I mean, this is the jewel of the Pacific.
You know, Bora Bora is, you know, both in literature and in reality, considered probably the most beautiful island on earth. And you have this miraculous view. I mean, this is incredible. Picture perfect. I yeah. Mean, I mean, there's. You can't get better. No, there's Bora Bora framed through these palm trees. Just to let you know the degree of thought that went into this, there's 1,500 palms that were brought here from wow. Bora Bora. And they were planted under the direction of Francois with a different angle for each one. He didn't want all palm trees going straight up. So not only did he architect the structures, he architected the trees. Yes, it's incredible. Oh. From anywhere you are on the island, you are going to have some view, mm -hmm. and you're always looking through trees. Right. See, that's the thing that's, that really is so amazing. It, it's fascinating because when Francois bought the island approximately 20 years ago, it was like a blank palette. These trees weren't here. The, the center was like a giant dry soccer field, and he oversaw the planting of each palm tree so that the angles were a little bit different. He didn't want straight lines going up everywhere. Very meticulous. Oh, it was incredible. The same degree of expertise and type A personality to create the structures went into the outside. And he brought in a famed Parisian landscape designer to plant all of the uh, flora and oversee all of the plants that were brought in and everything else, it's, and it shows. It feels magical, really. It is. Coming here, you would feel like it's natural. That's and right. That's how magnificent the architecture is here, where even the trees were architected and engineered. That's exactly right. If you were to fly over this with a helicopter, a drone, or a plane, it just looks like a deserted island that's very lush. When in fact, again, that was the design. But when you arrive here, there's all these different areas that are basically camouflage within the canopy. Yeah. And every view to the outside is through, you know, this magnificent you know, set of 1,500 palm trees. This is truthfully, you know, the, the, the ultimate. The thought that went in, he wanted the ultimate in luxury, but not in an ostentatious way. The structures, the interiors, the exteriors, they're all organic. You wouldn't know how magnificent they are on the inside until right. you actually go in. Yeah. So they, they could fit here. They do belong here. And that's really what is something that you're not gonna find anywhere else. No, this is remarkable. It's truly your own private paradise. Absolutely. I mean, just some of the background is to get the water and the utilities here. Okay. They actually hired uh, ecologists from Australia to come in and lay the underwater piping so it would not disturb the reef or the fish. Wow. So that's coming directly from the main island. So that's contingent to being very pro-green, you know? Oh, exactly. Protecting the environment. 
Exactly. I, you know, the carbon footprint here is basically non-existent. Yeah. It's just every thought was put in to make this as natural as possible and to fit within the environment. So the structures themselves are extremely organic. He began architecting this how long ago? Well, he bought it 20 years ago, approximately, and then he envisioned what he wanted to create, and then he selected the most consummate craftsman. You know, he's got a background as well as being, you know, CEO of Nars Cosmetics, is also a photographer, has an incredible eye, and he basically, you know, hired the very best people to do the structures, to do the interiors and to assist with the landscaping. And so within that time span, it really feels like this property is ahead of its time in terms of being uh, green and a uh, very minimal carbon footprint. Yeah, it, it, exactly. Because that's, you know, that's what he wanted to create. He loved this environment and yeah. this environment is natural. Yeah. So he wanted the ultimate in terms of, of luxury, in terms of beauty, without disturbing the environment, but mm -hmm. creating it within that environment. And that's key. Yes, yeah. completely. So this looks like a great spot to just dine on a nice, beautiful day. Yeah, there's always a great breeze on this side of the island. And so often people will dine here for lunch or dinner. And then you have the fire pit going. Yeah, and it's just you a, know, people kind of overflow into these areas. Really, really a, just a resort feel here. Yes, it's, a, it's literally a private resort. The staff here is amazing. He hires only the best of people. The chef is his personal chef in uh, Tahiti. Uh, his name is Christian, and his meals are a work of art that tastes better than they look, which is really pretty amazing. I think you would say, c'est magnifique. Yeah, magnifique, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he's available. So whoever yeah. has the island, this is a short boat ride here. It's literally 10 minutes from Bora Bora. I always say that whoever can afford to buy Motutane, if they visit it, they yeah. will buy it. Yeah. Because it cannot be duplicated, it cannot be replicated. He found this unique jewel which was in the raw. Yeah, it's such a key location with just the view of the main peak. Right, look at this, you're at the main peak of Bora Bora looking out. Yeah. You're 10 minutes by boat from Bora Bora. You're surrounded by this incredible white sand beach which he created from sand dredge from the lagoon. Incredible. It's amazing. So everything here fits the quintessential vision of paradise. Yeah. But it's done in such a manner that it's not some ersatz creation. It's really organic in all respects. Right. You would think this was just here, but it wasn't. It was yeah. just this blank palette that he and his designers, the people he hired, uh, put together. And it's that vision that really makes this magical. I mean, the feeling when you arrive here, it's so serene. It's, yeah. It's just coming from the shoreline through the palm trees, the wind, the breeze, it's just all encompassing. I mean, so many different vibrations, if you will. The energy here is incredible. Yes, it's almost like you're in a vortex <laughs> with the good energy. You know when you know you're in an amazing place is yeah. when you have Bora Bora there, which in literature and historically is considered probably the most beautiful island in the world. Right. You don't even want to go there. No. You can see it, but there's people there, there's restaurants, there's resorts. This is your own private resort that has everything plus. Yeah, this is truly one of a kind. It, it truly is. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's just amazingly realized. And so these structures here, okay. tell me about these. All right, so this is really beyond beautiful. Okay. Okay, there's, there's basically nine beach bungalows that are living quarters, you know, plus staff quarters. But Francois created two master suites and I challenge anyone to find a suite like this anywhere in the South Pacific or just about anywhere else that comes close to matching the quality and the design of these two master suites. Let's go into the main suite right here. I challenge 
anyone to find something more magnificent than this on any privately owned island in the world. Not only is it refreshing, but very comforting with just the subtle lighting. Exactly, yeah. He really, you'll find this subtle lighting actually everywhere throughout Mochitani. And it's just so relaxing and so comforting. It's just bright enough. Yeah. I mean, this bathtub speaks for itself. Yeah, the bathtub is amazing. It was carved out of lava. This suite is just astounding. You have high ceilings like everywhere, a wide variety of natural woods. The floors are magnificent. I mean, it's just so peaceful. It feels like a spa resort. Yeah. Right here. Exactly. Right here this is house. like, this could be a spa. Yeah. Literally. And again, just every um, ceiling finish is different. You have fans throughout. And you also have air conditioning here, which you don't really need, but if you want to turn it on, you can do it. So every possible comfort is here hidden within a, a basically organic structure. And you just always get a perfect view of the natural setting out there. Yeah. Yeah. You have a different view each way. Like here you're getting kind of the, the, the lush foliage outside. Yeah. And then here you're, you're looking through palm trees. The deep Bora Bora. blue sea. Yeah. yeah. And, you see, and you get the different colors because it, the water graduates very shallow quite a ways out. Then it's deep, then it's shallow. So you get that quintessential turquoise yeah. that is associated with French Polynesia. And then it's green and then it's deep blue again. It's just oh, yeah. it's picture magical. perfect. Yeah, it's magical. And you'll notice as we go throughout the property, there is authentic, you know, Polynesian artifacts that, I mean, run the gamut from ancient skeletons to shells to photographs. It's truly it's, authentic character. Oh yes, no question. That's why you, it's like you really know you're here. This could not be yeah. in Indonesia. This is here, this is Tahiti. And he captured that yeah. in, a, in really a major way.
And if one wasn't good enough, Again, you can see you have basically the spa type feel, huge shower. I mean, all the comforts like that. of a, a five star plus resort, yeah. but in a much more beautiful environment. Yeah, it's fascinating how everything just fits together. Nothing stands out that shouldn't be there. Yeah. Even the design of the water. No geckos get in there. It's perfect. Oh yeah. The contrasting of the materials just all seamlessly coexist. Yeah. It's incredible from the stone to the wood, back to the stone. Right. It's so natural. To the view out there. It's a five plus star resort. You know, a lot of times when you're on an island, wherever you're in, you do not get real volume. The structures may be beautiful. Here you have high ceilings everywhere. So you have this incredible feeling of volume. This uh, suite itself is 2,500 square feet, okay. approximately, as is the matching suite on the other side. So it doesn't really get any better. Just the right amount of lighting too, you know? It's yeah, like, it's subtle. Yeah, subtle. It really is. He really went with a total subtle vibe. Yeah, very comforting. Yeah, there's a lot of, you know, candles, which are, you know, lit every night just to kind of give that ambiance. So these master suites really feel like Polynesian royalty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Yes, exactly. They, yeah. they basically are. Yeah. I mean, every um, bungalow or ferry, as they call it, on the island is beautifully realized. Yeah. And there's suites, and there's you know more a little bit smaller bungalows, which are just deluxe. But this is basically the royalty. The person that owns the island or their most important guest mm -hmm. would stay in one of these.
This is where the culinary magic is done with Christian. Brilliant. Every meal, magnifique. Oh, chocolate. Mm. Unbelievable. Your favorite. The best. I've eaten at the best restaurants around the world. I've never had anybody that can equal what Christian creates. La cuisine, c'est magnifique. Yes. Uh, it's incredible. <laughs> Even Americans can figure out what that is. Just the bread. I mean, everything is just incredible. But you can see it is a full commercial kitchen. You can serve 20, 25, 30 people and quite easily, and it's designed for that purpose. Now we should check out the library. I've heard a lot of things about this library. This library is phenomenal. Outside it with this uh, thick foundation concrete, it looks like a compound. Oh yeah. Everything's built to be indestructible here. So you have actually dual bathrooms here. I don't know if you, you can just see even the luxury in the bathrooms of the library or reading room. I could just live here. I mean, look at the authentic Polynesian artifacts and art pieces. Here is where you really feel that vintage Polynesian traditional feeling. Right? Exactly. You could spend hours just looking at the photographs. I mean, there's pieces of coral, there's ancient Polynesian weapons, a tiger shark jaw. And also it has the modern comfort of a large screen TV. So if you wanna watch something, it's here. But this room is just, this is, this is really astounding. It's fascinating. Yeah, unsurpassed library. And it's quite chilled in here to, I would think, protect the artifacts. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it is, it's chilly in here. And the, again, these are, this is literally like a museum. It, yeah. And so it keeps the temperature down, humidity down, and uh, although it's, you know, comfortable, but it's, it's definitely cool. Yeah. And, because, um, you know, the humidity, you are in an island. So yeah, it's, but oh, man, I love this room. Just look at the woods, the rich woods. I mean, I've spent a lot of time just looking at each artifact and weird bugs and stuff. quaint spot to just kind of sit and delve into your thoughts. Oh, right? totally. You're away from everything here. Yeah. You would not know where you are. This is really a wonderful room. Yeah.
check out the dining room. So, this dining room is basically overkill if you're here by yourself, but you can obviously serve easily 25, 30 people here. You have a very cleverly concealed wet bar in that cabinet. And again, you see the whole philosophy of everything being yeah. open. Yeah, the shutters are incredible. Yeah. Nice touch. Yeah, if you need to be, you can close them, but there you get that flow of air through. In addition, you have the fans going. So it's just always comfortable here. What's really kind of cool is when it's raining outside in a big way and you're in here, you still get the breeze and you hear the yeah, rain on the, the rain. Roof. Oh, just that tranquil uh, sound. Yeah. And these shutters really are, are an elegant touch. Absolutely. It's actually, it's, it's way more elegant than just having it wide open. Yeah. So it's, again, this room is amazing. It fits perfectly in this entire communal structure we were talking about. You can just see everybody coming for dinner. Then they all migrate to the right. to the great room, great room, and then the indoor outdoor, and everyone kind of takes their spots, their own quarters. Yeah, exactly. The spots to read, spots to talk. Yeah. Yes, it's uh, this, it, it's just magnificent. Marcus, we've seen this area. How about I take you down to probably the most beautiful beach in the world? Okay, let's take a look. I mean, this is what everyone aspires to realize in terms of paradise living. Exactly. It's a beautiful beach like this. Yes, and it's private. What more can you ask for? Yeah. Motutani really represents, I mean, the pinnacle. It's the best. 